Well, I want to say one thing that uh, oral health is actually um, a lot to do with your general overall health. Uh, there's two places in the body that they say disease mainly starts or um, multiplies. One's in the gut. They say 90% of your immune system is also in the gut. And we actually contain more uh, beneficial types of microbes than we even have uh, cells in our body. <laughs> but they're much smaller, of course. Um, but the other other thing is where we have um, the other place that uh, affects our general health is uh, microbes in the mouth. Um, it's even been shown to affect your heart, uh, different organs, and things. They've talked about, you know, even um, you know the uh, mercury that's in your fillings can affect various organs and stuff. Now I just want to make a suggestion because I know, like, I like colloidal silver or ionic silver and <laughs> whatever you want to call it, nano silver but I, I just make the homemade stuff because it's like if you buy the really good quality stuff it can get very pricey and actually a lot of these vendors um, they're not too cool on uh, some of the stuff they sell uh, there's only, I'll mention this right now, there's one vendor that actually won, I'm not, there's no commercial but uh, this is actually my homemade stuff. I like putting it in this glass lined stainless steel container. And this, I can see how much is in there because it's glass. And I keep this side to the shadow. <laughs> so no, no light gets in here at all. But I, I like using this as a mouthwash and I'll leave it in my mouth for a while. Now actually they sell a spray, but it's not, it's not inexpensive, okay? It's, uh, it's AC, AC, ACS 200 advanced cellular silver that's one that's actually endorsed by the medical community and it's got loads of tests on it and it's supposed to be many many times more effective than the homemade stuff but you know I'm not too cool on it because of the price <laughs> but like I said it's not a commercial but I just want to say that um, you know sometimes some of the overblown claims on colloidal silver also depends on the quality but the quality uh, man, it's a mixed bag, even if you're paying a lot of money. But, you know, they always tell you, you know, use, you know, mouthwash. But, you know, there's always something in the mouthwash that contains, like, alcohol. You're not supposed to drink it. It could be bad for you. Obviously, you don't drink the mouthwash. You spit it out. But, and, you know, even per some of the doctors, they'll tell you that the colloidal silver is a toxin, right? I mean, I disagree with that because I read other people that were PhDs and said it was totally benign to a normal healthy cells and I don't know what the controversy is about it's toxic but there's some people that's alleged that it's toxic I don't think it is but you know if you're using it as a mouthwash I think it's far more effective than anything that you could buy as a mouthwash it's gonna kill more germs it's you know if, if there's some level of toxicity that they allege it's sure gonna be very minimal but your actually your oral health has a lot to do with your general health and also the health of your gums and teeth because cavities start mainly from microbes uh, the byproduct of microbes actually on a tooth enamel so nutrition is one way to stop that or fight that actually you know if you go back in so many cultures <laughs> throughout the world Nutrition is, if people have really good nutrition where their soils are rich in uh, trace elements and things, they seem like they never get cavities even when out doing any kind of oral health that is done in the West where they're saying, you use mouthwash, use toothpaste. Now, I also want to say I had something about the fluoride toothpaste. I don't really like it, you know. I use um, baking soda toothpaste that doesn't have fluoride. It's very difficult to get. Sometimes I use this Pilu, which is actually an African tree bark it has like a bleaching agent in it probably never heard of it it's not a commercial or nothing but I use this stuff um, fluoride has been shown to be toxic to cells in concentrations of 1 in 30 million now it's probably okay to have a fluoride treatment from a dentist once in a while because fluoride does strengthen the tooth enamel but I don't think it's good to put in your mouth two or three times a day by brushing but do what the hell you want, you know. Some people like would really argue with me about this one way or the other, but um, it's a hot topic, and uh, you know, I do know that there's a financial incentive behind the fluoride treatments, but 
There's also a financial incentive to get rid of this stuff, too, because it's a byproduct of other industries. But um, it is toxic, man. It's not really that good. Uh, so people do what they want. But, you know, as a suggestion, baking soda has always been the thing to use all the time. Just plain old baking soda. People used to brush with baking soda all the time. Um, you know, and it really ha it's really your nutrition has a lot more to do with your oral health, and also the colloidal silver will kill more germs than any freaking mouthwash will by far. I'll guarantee you that. No matter, even if you're making a homemade stuff, it's going to work better than any mouthwash. And even if the allegations by some of these medical people that say it's toxic up at the certain levels, if you're using it as a mouthwash, you're not going to have any kind of. You're definitely having less toxicity than having fluoride toothpaste in your mouth or. Uh, <laughs> regular mouthwash with alcohol you're not supposed to the type of alcohol you're not supposed to drink so I'll leave it at that you know no matter what you say people freaking bitch but <laughs> something else I want to point out you know there's another thing that people do and they'll know about they'll know about this in Mexico any anybody in Mexico probably knows this stuff you know you go to the doctors in the US they're like what the hell are you talking about I'm talking about is oil pooling Oil pooling is you take some oil. I'm showing this is a coconut oil. Actually, this is parachute coconut oil. And uh, what you do is you take the oil and you swish it around your mouth for about 20 minutes and you spit it out. It takes out a lot of toxins. Actually, the most popular oil to use is sesame, but I actually think coconut is better. It's probably the second most popular. But there's a lot of different oils you can use. Coconut is great, though. Coconut oil is very good for that, for oil pooling. That is where you take the oil, you swish it around your mouth for about 15 minutes and you spit it out. It gets out a lot of toxins. But the coconut oil is actually uh, antibacterial, antimicrobe, and antiviral. Um, so it leaves, it's like a mouthwash in a way, even though, you know, maybe people don't want to do this or bother with it. But it's far more effective. You know, they're not going to tell you this in a dental schools I can tell you that right now but you know it's like you go to any of these freaking other countries it's not it's not BS it's like people have known this stuff for freaking years I mean centuries uh, actually you know where you'll start finding out a lot more from the established uh, medical people is down in Malaysia and the Philippines you'll hear a lot more about in true established medicine They'll start telling you a lot more how much, how good coconut oil is as an antimicrobial, antiviral, antibacterial, in all the various uses you can use it for on, for health, rather than in the Western world because it's a it's a major product over there and it's part of their GDP, gross domestic production. So you know it's a financial incentive. Hey, money makes everything go around. But you know the thing is, you know I also got to point out, not all these doctors are like a bunch of liars. You know it's almost like the alternative people seem to paint all the doctors as just out for money, which is not true. And then, you know, there's a lot of alternative people out there just out for money, too. So, you know, I try to put out information that's very accurate, but, you know, I mean, it's not going to, you're not going to, you're not like, uh, the, the country isn't like uh, littered with corpses from people freaking brushing their teeth three times a day with fluoride toothpaste, obvious. But, you know, over a period of time, if you're freaking doing this three times a day, twice a day, brushing your teeth, and yeah, you spit it out, you're not supposed to ingest it or whatever, because, you know, fluoride's a poison. Fluoride does strengthen the enamel, I know that. But, you know, if you're doing this over years and years and years, I don't think it's good for you, okay? Maybe you could say, you know, there's just, I mean, I could point to 10 million studies one way or the other. A little common sense would kind of tell you it's probably not the best damn thing in the world for you. And before that, they used to use, like in Africa, they, they use this. You say, well, Africa. But, you know, this is a good product. Actually, this comes from a tree root or tree bark, I think it is, or something. It's like a bleaching agent. It's actually, it'll clean your teeth very safely. And, um, you know, no problem. Natural cleansing toothpaste, you know. Beautiful, healthy smile. P. Lou, you know, probably never heard of this stuff. It's not a commercial or nothing, but, you know. I get a lot of stuff that isn't like, um, you know, the normal stuff that people normally get. I have some of the stuff, like I have this, you know. But actually, I like, for mouthwash, I think, use the co uh, colloidal silver. I use that quite often. You know, I make it by the ton, you know. I mean, well, by the quart. And... I know there's much more superior colloidal silvers out there, but 
they get so pricey that I don't really think they're worth it. So, I know, like, I had, you know, I should have put out on one of my prior videos about, you know, I, I put the title out, uh, Colloidal Silver is No Cure for Ebola. I should have put it out, the title that, is Colloidal, is Colloidal Silver a Cure or Not a Cure for Ebola? Because as soon as they saw that title, man, it was an instant attack. And I just say that, you know, um, Colloidal Silver has, none of all of them are equal, and actually the ones that, are advertised the most and sometimes they can be extraordinarily expensive they're not really that damn good I think there's only one brand I ever heard of that was endorsed by medical people big time and that was ACS 200 so but it ain't cheap man I think it's like 20 25 bucks for two ounces or something you know it's not cheap man <laughs> so you know so to me there's other things around that you could probably do with your money you could buy coconut oil you could buy enough silver to make gallons of cheap stuff you could buy uh, vitamin C or whatever the heck it is you could buy baking soda for that kind of money so anyway but uh, I just want to put this out as a tip because your general health is highly related to well the health of your gut and your bioflora is ac actually your gut has 90 percent of your immune system but also that is usually where disease starts the other place is the mouth in the mouth actually um, can directly affect the organs, microbes in the mouth. Actually, that's a open part of the body. Even though you say there's not, you know, it's not really, you know, open to the bloodstream. In a way, it is. In, in some little minor ways, depends on your oral health. So, you know, when you're putting fluoride in your mouth every day, <laughs> not the great thing. Over a period of time, it ain't gonna kill you right away. But I, it is not really the best thing in the world to do. So, but you know, do what they want, man. To each his own. So, but I would actually recommend using, um, you know, an alternative type toothpaste like this Pilu or just plain baking soda. Baking and also most of the baking soda toothpaste out there have fluoride in them because the other, all the smaller companies got big bought out by the big companies now, so they put fluoride in them. Tough to find. But, you know, the thing is, if you really want to knock out really what starts tooth decay and gum disease more than anything is lack of nutrition and microbes. So, you fix the nutrition of your overall body. You'll have, a over, you'll have good health in your teeth, in your gums, and this has been proven throughout the world in cultures that never brush their teeth and have all their teeth and never have gum disease unless they go on a Western diet. Or, or you just, you know, take some colloidal silver. It's one of the best damn things if you make some of that for yourself and use it as a mouthwash. I mean, some doctors would, you know, you know, I've heard the arguments about it's toxic, but then I've read things where it's totally benign to the human cells, too. So, I, you know, by experts, too. I mean, from the best of the best. So, I mean, no matter what the hell you do in biology, I just got to sum this up. There's absolutely no absolute proof in biology like it's guaranteed beyond any doubt whatsoever. I mean, you can have it where you're like 99.99% sure about something, but you're never going to be 100% sure of biology, man. That's just how the damn thing is. There's always going to be somebody dissenting. But the problem is, in the medical system, there's a lot of financial incentive to rip people off financial incentive to rip people off. There's a lot of financial incentive to, uh, you know, keep certain products moving. Fluoride is one of them, right? And you wonder why the thing's going broke, right? So anyway, but, you know, not everything alternative. You know, I got to watch. I, I really throw a lot of caution in when I say things with alternative because I notice on YouTube there's a lot of people that say, it's a cure, and sometimes I'm like, whoa, baby. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is a damn good thing to do for oral oral hygiene, colloidal silver. It's cheap, too, if you make it yourself. So Anyway, so we're going to present this. There's several things you can do. Colloidal silver, the different types of toothpaste, and oil pulling with coconut oil. I think it's superior to sesame oil for oil pulling. And like I said, you go down to Mexico, they know about this. You go ask, you go run and ask all the doctors in the USA, most of them never heard of it. What's oil pulling? So, it's pretty damn beneficial stuff, believe me. Believe me, it takes toxins out of the mouth and uh, 
coconut oil is antimicrobial besides. Yeah. No matter what you do, uh, people tell you nah, nah, nah. So anyway, just want to present this. I think it's useful and, uh, you know, nothing's a cure-all. No matter what you put out there, no matter how good it is, nothing's a cure-all. It's just that this should be more economical and beneficial for overall health. That's really what it comes down to.